The new 2.0 version of iPhone software lets you download and install applications from the iTunes store. However, a lot of applications I want don't exist there. And good news, open source fans, you can still jailbreak iPhone 2.0 thanks to the iPhone dev team. I'm Tom Merritt from CNET.com. I'll show you how to do it on this edition of Insider Secrets. First of all, this is not a newbie-friendly exercise. You must back up your data and be prepared to have to restore your phone from scratch. If you're not comfortable with that amount of uncertainty, you might want to hold off doing this. Now, why would you go to all this trouble at all? Well, for me, it's the capability to run applications that aren't available in the Apple App Store. Also, I'm showing this in OS X. The Windows procedure involves getting a torrented image and using boot neuter. Take a look at the steps at sleepers.net for the details on that. All right, want to thank Exatica for tipping me off to the steps at sleepers.net for OS 10 as well. Let's go. First, you need to gather a few downloads. Make sure you have upgraded to the current 2.0 firmware in iTunes and know where it resides. Then, download the Pwnage tool and the bootloader software. You can find the latest links at the iPhone dev team's blog. Extract both of these and move the bootloader files to documents. You'll need an extractor that can handle RAR files. May I suggest the Unarchiver as an open source solution? Now, launch the Pwnage application and follow the prompts. It should find your current firmware, select and press the arrow. It will either ask you for the bootloader files or find them for you as it did for me. It will prompt you to create a new custom firmware, press yes. It will then ask if you're a legit iPhone. Press yes if you're on AT&T, or press no if you want to unlock the phone. It will build your custom firmware called an IPSW file, and it will take a bit, so go eat some fudge or something. Once it's done, it will ask if your iPhone has been pwned before. If you're going from a pwned 114 phone, say yes. Otherwise, say no. In fact, if you have any doubt at all, just say no. It won't hurt to repone it. Now come the calisthenics. Follow the on-screen prompts to turn off the phone, then follow the prompts exactly. Hold both the power and home buttons, then let go of just the power button, and finally the home button when it tells you to. If all has gone well, you should get a success message. Close Pwnage and move to iTunes. Here you'll restore your iPhone with the newly made firmware. Hold down the option key while you click on the restore button. Find the firmware file iPonage created. It's the one with custom in the title. Your iPhone will restart. Give it time. Don't freak out. It will then restore the phone's backup. Then it will sync. Now you have the Cedia application installer with all the open source free apps, as well as that newfangled official Apple app store. It's the best of both worlds. That's it for this edition of Insider Secrets. I'm Tom Merritt, CNET.com.